Hi, in this video we are going to be talking about evolution. In a nutshell, the theory of evolution basically states that all species of living things evolved from simpler life forms billions of years ago. It was proposed by this guy, Charles Darwin. He basically stated that evolution happens by the process of natural selection. So what is natural selection? Well, there are a few key steps that we must remember. So first, individuals in a species will show a wide range of variation because of differences in their genes. The species who display characteristics most suited to the environment will survive. This is called survival of the fittest. They will reproduce and pass on their genes to their offspring. However, the species who aren't adapted well to the environment won't be able to survive and reproduce. The species will evolve displaying the strong, well-adapted phenotype or characteristic. So that's it. That's natural selection and the words I have written down myself are key vocab that you must remember and understand. So using what we have learnt, pause this video and have a go explaining how giraffes evolve from having short necks to long necks. Okay, let's go over how we can go about answering this question. So first of all, the key thing to remember is following the steps of natural selection. But always referring to the specific species the question is talking about. Okay, so let's start. There was some variation amongst the giraffes, with some having longer necks, than others. They could access leaves and higher branches, which was accessible to the rest. The giraffes with shorter necks didn't survive due to the large amount of competition and so therefore didn't reproduce. However, the giraffes with longer necks reproduced and passed on their genes to their offspring. This way, the giraffes evolved to have long necks. 